I think Mr. Brent left me. It's nowhere to be found. Hello? Where are you? <laughs> I'm lost. <gasps> Where is he? Bab! Bab! Hello everyone, so today we're going back to the Flume Trails, but this time we will take the Upper Flume Trail. We did the lower one a few years ago, so you can check out my channel for that. Okay, so we're here at the Flume Trails, so you can choose your trail to take on today. They have a lower trail, lower loop, or the Upper Flume so we are taking the upper today because we've been here before and we took the lower loop already so they got some outhouse bathroom here and parking lot that could fit quite a few vehicles probably 20 25 it's quite roomy for everyone need to bring bear spray when you're out walking in the woods. You don't want to be the bear's dinner. The trails here are great for the whole family. Along the trail, there's bridges, lush green forest, the gentle flowing waters in the creek, and of course, the remnants of the Flume Trail. These are just some of the sights you'll see on this scenic and interesting trail. Okay, so we're taking the upper flume trail today instead of going left to the bridge going up so when you're interested to walk the lower flume trail you're gonna take this bridge and just keep following the trail start downhill already <laughs> <laughs> but a quick break <clears throat> so this is about 2.7 Kilometer loop. I wonder if we'll see more remnants of the flume. There wasn't much. I think no, I think we're gonna see more from this. Oh, Hiking is the best and safer outdoor activities where everyone can get into, especially nowadays where you have to stay away from the crowds. It doesn't have to be strenuous nor tackle long hikes, but just being out in nature for a few minutes will help you mentally and physically. And of course, with any other outdoor activities, either for long or short hike, especially here in Canada, you have to be prepared with food, sacks, water, bear spray, and of course, proper outfit and shoes. Running shoes might work on a flatter trail and during the summer, but what I'm saying is no before you go, okay? breathe some fresh air get away from the city I mean <laughs> small city it's pretty nice it's cold although the weather is not that great there's no sun This is a historic flume trail because of its historical logging activity where in 1908 the story of the flume begins and when the town of Chase and the mill of the Adams River Lumber Company was established. It was a massive sawmill, the third largest in the province and during its 20 years operation, it removed 1 billion board feet of the best timber from the Adams wow. River watershed. And as you can see, remnants of that timbers used for the flume can still be found.
According to some website that I researched, um, the flume started from Skimana Lake. A V-shaped flume were built to float the logs 11 miles down the river. Although it was expensive to build, yet it was very efficient. Um, the logs traveled 11 miles in 15 minutes. Nowadays, you can only see a few remnants of what's left on this miles of structured flume. It's because once all the timbers was logged and flume was in no longer in use, they were hauled away by nearby homesteaders to use for their own construction projects. And a replica of what it actually looked like can be seen on the entrance of the trail. The ground is all covered with moss. It's beautiful. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life So, if you see these ribbons, it means you're on the right trail and just follow that and you won't get lost just keep an eye for those ribbons tied on the trees or branches. And if you look far ahead, you can see another one right there. So I got overdressed because I thought it's going to be cold and rainy and windy, but I took my jacket off. My puffy jacket, because I'm so hot. As many as 800 men, 50 teams of yeah. horses. A dollar fifty a day. That's how much you're worked. You're working. 75 a day. So it's like what food can or something. That'd be good money for back can then. Can good. Oh, okay, this is the most confusing trail sign ever. <laughs> yeah. So Flume trail, room trail. This trail, this trail. We're in the crossroad. Yes. Cross trail. Decision, decision. Find out if we choose the right trail. Oh, Lake wow. we fished at. That's where it starts. 11 miles and it goes all the way down to the Adams River. What is this made of? <laughs> it's part of an electrical power line insulator. How so right oh, V-shape is this? See, that's where it is. Yeah, that's where they built the it. I see. Soup can? <sighs> Maybe that's where they put some water on. That's the sign leading back to the trailhead, but of course, we have to go off the trail. We're seeking adventure, so we'll see again where we are. Where? We are. End of the trail. <laughs> now the question is answered. Where we are? Uh. <laughs> okay. We have a break. Oh yeah, well somebody's been camping. So 
maybe they, they tie a rope somewhere and then they when they're crossing the river. No, so, there is probably a wood. Probably put a piece no, of No, maybe there's another nail to cross. And they keep crossing the trail back and forth. Yeah, maybe this is part of the flume that they convert into a bench for people to rest right by the water. So there's the steps there from the upper flume trail and then there's the bridge right here we're gonna cross and it's gonna take us back to the trailhead There's still ice in the water. It's so cold in here. So at this time of the year, there's still some snow up on the trail. So you have to be extra careful and wear some proper hiking shoes. I think you rock. Block. So sketchy, so we're gonna take the alternate route down below. That is super that dangerous trail. Don't, don't ever cross this one. Oh, oh. Oh, it's okay, there's water there. Super slippery. But we're a ninja, so we made it. I think Mr. Brent left me. It's nowhere to be found. I'm lost. Where is he? Bam! Zigzag trail. What's so nice about taking the Apple Flume Trail is you have to cross so many bridges and you get a different viewpoint of the river flowing through. So yeah, it's a bit a steeper trail. It hurts my knees <laughs> so pretty nice so this is a 2.7 kilometer trail and we're at 1.95 currently and we're still going Soon we're gonna see the end of the trail. Okay, so we came out. We came out from the trail. That's the upper flume trail. This is leading back to the parking lot, and this is 
the lower loop trail. We're taking the shortcut. I'm back on the road. Parking lot is just across the road. 